Hi everybody, my name is Ryan Hawley. If you're 18 plus and you're a citizen of the United States, you can vote. Now this right here is something that a lot of Americans take for granted. However, one thing that everyone needs to be reminded is that this right makes us a country that has influenced the entire world. Our ideology of having the right to vote for women, for people of color, for Hispanics, for Asians, for people that don't own land, for people that do own land, for the rich, for the poor, we all have the same right. And that right there is a purely American democratic idea. Now, I'm a millennial. This will be my first presidential election, and I'm honestly really excited. I'm really excited that I am finally able to share my opinion of who I think would be the best leader of this country. Now granted, I have voted in elections before. I have, I have voted in my local election. I've also voted in my state election. The thing I'm gonna talk about is the division between the local government, the state government, and the federal government, and how if one of those pieces is broken, the entire thing starts mending together and becoming incoherent, kind of like today's system. Which all stems back to people not voting. It's really important to actually vote in your local elections because whatever's happening at the local level might also be happening at the state level and possibly at the federal level. And the only way that these issues can be resolved or possibly changed is by having your voice heard. And the way you're having your voice heard is by educating yourself. This whole election cycle is being blown out of proportion as every single federal election is blown to. But in real, in day-to-day -day life, Hillary Clinton won't know who your name is. Jill Stein, she won't know your name. Barack Obama, he doesn't know your name. Donald Trump, he won't know your name, and I don't think he really cares about your name. And then there's Gary Johnson, he won't know your name either. They are federal people. Yes, they have a really important job of holding our entire society together and holding our entire planet together, in terms politically. But... They don't, they don't have a direct impact on your life. So, this election, it's really important you vote. But there are there's about a month left into the election. It is October now. And it's kind of scary, though, the way this election cycle went. Yes, these people are representing America. However, try not to be bogged down by the national politics. Bring it down to your local level. I know everyone's like driving the car now and they're seeing all these political signs. I actually pay attention to them. In my personal opinion, if you aren't actively in the political process, and by active, I mean just voting and knowing who you're voting for. That's what I mean by active. And if you aren't doing that, why are you American? I don't want to sound mean or anything, but you're a freeloader. You are taking the benefits and everything from a given society, but you're not, but you're not putting anything into it. You're, just con you're a consumer, you're a passive consumer. Now granted, that might be some of your tracks. That might be your destined way of life, to be a passive consumer. However, that's not my way of thinking. We came so far to being able to vote. Now that everyone's able to vote, are we just not going to vote anymore? Are we only going to be voting when there's actual huge social issues? No. We need to be educated citizens and look at issues that are facing our country from different points of view. You are a citizen of the United States. You might be becoming a citizen of the United States. You might be waiting for the next two years where you can actually vote in your first any kind of election, which is great. But please, if you're voting, get involved in the political process. If you're not voting, still be aware of the political process so you can actually inform others who can't vote on your opinions on these matters. You're investing in the future of your local county, town, city, village, house, smart bill. You're, vote, you're investing into that but you're also investing into your state. And you're also investing into the federal government. And by you investing into all these things right here, you are helping rebuild our broken democracy that we currently have. You are helping that. And don't worry, just because there's 30, 350 million people in this country and you think your voice won't be heard because you're voting and it won't matter if you vote, don't think that way. That's not right. You are important. That's one thing my group of millennials were told. You are special. And I am a firm believer in that. Everyone is special. Everyone has a reason to be here. And everyone should vote and share their opinions on things. All right.
So on November 8th, please vote. And if you don't know if you're if you don't know if you are registered to vote, please check this link out. And if you want to possibly register to vote, I don't know if the deadline passed yet for your given state, but you can register on you can register on this web on this website as well. I'm looking forward to the future of this country and the future of our democracy. Thank you.